I can just see the comments right now, just hashtag triggered <laughs> everywhere. Hey, Flora, Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station, and I'm back with Lily again. Hey, what's up? Thank you for doing this, I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. And we are going to look at certain winter fragrances that I personally have ranked throughout my top 10 winter fragrance list. I wanna know what Lily has to say. So are you ready for this? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. And we might as well kick it off strong, starting off with this one right here. Immediate thoughts. Salty. Salty? That sounds about right. <laughs> if anyone knows this brand, very nautical. Uh, that being said, salty, is it too strong? Is it... I feel you... like this is going to be a great performer. It might last like a good 10 hours, if not more. Yeah, no, no yeah. that's fair. And like, how would you feel about this on your man, for example? I would love it. Really? Yeah. I can just see the comments right now, just hashtag <laughs> everywhere. But yeah, out of 10, what would you give it? I guess for a freshy scent, I'd probably give it 8.5. Whoa, okay. Yeah. So just so you all know, the one she's talking about is this right here. It's called Viking by Creed. But uh, yeah, 8.5, Creed Viking, who'd have thought? I like it. There it is. All right, so if your public opinion went down, I'm joking. What? <laughs> Why? No, no, it's funny because I feel like a lot of people are like split on Viking, but I honestly think it's lovely. So. I like it. It's my opinion, right? Like not everybody's gonna read on that shit, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, respect, <laughs> absolutely. So uh, we're going from one genre to another. Are you gonna surprise me with this one? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Have you been to the UK before? No. Okay, well, that's an exclusive there. Okay, so maybe I never smelled it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go with this one right there. I like it. Okay. It's boozy, woodsy kind of scent. I literally just smell liquor, but like a good liquor, maybe even with a hint of vanilla. Okay, <laughs> super accurate. <laughs> All right, now respect. Oh man, so, I really like it actually. I so, think it's a perfect like fall winter scent. I couldn't disagree with that whatsoever. Uh, that being said, uh, would you like your man wearing this himself too, maybe? Or I would. Cool. This right here is kind of on the opposite spectrum of the previous fragrance. However, what would you give it out of ten? Um, I'd probably give it an eight out of ten. Cool, lovely. And the one we're talking about is this. It's called Single Malt from By Killian. Now this is a London exclusive. I personally think it's lovely. You do too, so eight out of 10. Yeah, I like it. Lovely. And I'm usually not like a big fan of their scents. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so for me to say that, All right. that means a lot. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Cheers. Literally, it's booze. Moving on. Why not? Oh God, this stuff's nuclear. Here we go with the next one. All righty. Immediate thoughts. Dark but fresh. It's got like a good mixture of both. I feel like this is a very sophisticated scent. Like if you're going on a night out somewhere or- Or something a little bit more upscale and formal. Yeah, I feel like I've smelled this before. Oh, okay. You're into fragrances too, so you probably have. Have you smelled it off your man before? Or would probably. you like him wearing this? Yeah, he has a lot, so. That's fair. It's gonna be hard for me to tell. Okay. Unless you tell me what it is. Right, and <laughs> uh, out of 10, what is it? I'd have to say it's a nine. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. It's really good. Wasn't expecting that. Really cool. But that is for this right here. It's called Your En Parfum uh, by Christian Dior. Also an exclusive, by the way, to the EU. But yeah, you actually like this one. I do. So it's the Dior Om DNA infused with leather. So that's why it feels oh, okay. a little like darker. Dark, yeah. Exactly. Okay. It's a very polarizing scent, but I think the people who like it really like it. Then I guess. I like 10. the leather scents. So yeah. All right. DHP. Moving along. Here we go. This should be interesting. All right. Fourth scent. Uh, maybe some cedar or pine or something. It's also got a sweetness to it. Okay. Would you like this off of someone personally? Yes. Oh, all right. Would you like it off yourself maybe? I don't know. Really? I, I feel like it's a little bit more masculine. Interesting. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that I can't see other girls wearing it. Now, to be fair, this is actually made for a man, but it is billed as a unisex. Okay. But what would you give it out of 10? I'd probably give it a seven and a half. Cool. Very interesting. Yeah. Alrighty. So this one is called Dries Van Noten by Frederick Mal. So it was made for the man Dries Van Noten of the brand Dries Van Noten. Kind of a cozy winter scent for his Belgian winters, which is, I think, pretty interesting. So a little bit sweet, a little bit woody, but you actually like this. I do. Lovely. And moving on, fifth scent up. There you go. 
This is a very like sweet gourmand. It's different, but similar to a lot of like the same similar scents. Okay, that no, makes that, sense. That's fair. That stuff is characterized by honey and tobacco, a little bit of fruits. So it should come off as slightly familiar and maybe too familiar if anyone knows what I'm talking now about. Now I smell the honey. Okay. Now that you mention it, that's right. the sweetness. Yes, very syrupy. And would you like this off of your man yourself or? I think he would like it more than I would like it because he loves the sweet scents. Yeah. So, so if he's gonna rate it, he'll probably rate it a nine. If I'm gonna rate it, probably between a seven and an eight. Yeah, seven okay. and a half. All right. And the one we are talking about is Sweet Tobacco Spirits by 1821 Man Made. Seven and a half, impressive, because uh, this stuff actually is very reminiscent to a fragrance called Back to Black by, by Killian. Oh, yeah. See? So there it is. So, All of a sudden I like Killian. I guess so. <laughs> Who would have thought? And last but not least, there we go. This should be interesting. Whoa. I'm getting whiffs of that too. It's nice and soft, satiny and woodsy at the same time. That's messed up. If you want my honest opinion, it's not something that I would pick out. Either for yourself or for your man? Yes, okay. but I can see a lot of people liking the scent. Okay, that's fair. And out of 10, what would you give it? So if I were to go with a masses, probably an eight. For myself, probably a seven. I'll call it seven and a half. So we are talking about Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Kirchhoff. And you had to work, say the word satin. <laughs> Incredible. So good. I actually am a big fan of the scent. It's like a rosy vanilla with a backbone of oud, but not a whole lot of it. So it's a kind of an accessible oud, yeah. but uh, a very like sophisticated night out one. I actually well. didn't get a lot of oud in it. No, but... you're not going to off of the nozzle. Yeah. I barely do off of my skin, but at the end of the day, it's kind of more focused on the sweets, right? Okay. So Oud Satin Mood. Seven and a half? Yeah, I would say a seven and a half. Alrighty. Alrighty, folks, and there it is. Somehow we have a winner that isn't niche. We're talking Christian Dior Dior en parfum. So that is pretty cool. Nine out of 10. I like it. It's different enough and I feel like it would last a long time. And I'm into fragrances that stay on your skin and you don't have to respray them throughout the day. That makes a lot of sense. So Dior en parfum for the win. But that being said, thank you again for doing this. I you're appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. And honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. So let us know in the comments below what you thought of the video, what you think of these picks, and what do you think of Lily and I doing this again? Let us know if you want to see us back soon. Again, 500 likes and a random subscriber in the comments <laughs> gets an assorted niche fragrance sample pack as well so definitely like subscribe and comment please but until then take care guys peace out peace out bye wear your fragrances